All right, I want to start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this is the brother Atazaria from the GMS Houston camp, again, with a little quick lesson on the future of America and other parts, um, mainly here, uh, which is Babylon the Great, okay? Um... I'm going to just go right into it. This is the book of Zechariah um, 14. I'm going to read verse 12. This is uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And what people have fought against Jerusalem? Well, I'm going to grab another scripture real quick. This is uh, the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter. And um, I'm going to just start at verse 1, and actually I'm going to read the heading also. It says, uh, a prayer against those who oppress the church. Okay? Um, and the church is speaking about Israel. Okay? Um, right now it's the elect, man. Okay? It says, Keep not thou silence, O God, which the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, which, is, which are the Israelites. Okay? That's the Lord's people. In case you didn't, you didn't know. Okay, and that's all throughout the scriptures. And maybe that'll be another lesson. But I'm, I'm gonna continue on. It says, "And consulted against thy hidden ones." Right now, the hidden ones are the elect, man. Okay. Um. They have said, "Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, which is the so-called white people. Okay. The Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes. Now, Edom being named, that they number one, man. That's our number one enemy. When you go back to the story of Jacob and Esau, okay. Jacob being the progenitor of Israel, and um, Edom being the progenitor of the Edomites, okay? The nation of Edom. Um, Gabal and Ammon, verse 7, Gabal and Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, or Tyre. Aser also is joined with them. They have helped Salakia. They have hoped the children of Lot, Salah, do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sesera, as to Jabin at the brook of Kisan, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. And that's what our enemies will become, as dung of the earth. As you can see this illustration right here, this is the future of things to come, man. Okay, and I'm going to jump, uh, I'm going to go back to uh, Zechariah, and it says, um, This shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. They're fle and a matter of fact, you know what? Two-thirds of our own people are fighting against us right now, man, and that's why they're going to get destroyed too. Okay, because they, they, they don't want to get right, man. They... They love Edom. They love all these other nations, man. And it's evident. I mean, just look at our people, man. They take on every other custom but their own. They want to be uh, Elamites. They want to they, they want to be Edomites, man. They want to be just like the so-called white man. That's why you see them all into this democracy, all into this, um, d just you know that that American dream. Okay. They want to be held like the elders would talk about, like the Wu Tang Clan. These these cats want to be 
Moabites, man. Okay? Here it is. We're telling you, you are the greatest nation. You are the apple of the, of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's eye. And you, then they, they, they reject it. Okay? So guess what? The Lord is going to reject them. And that's, that's, that's the brass tax. Okay? And good riddance. Okay? I'm going to go back. I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to start back at the top. This is Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. As you can see this illustration right here. Okay? And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And what's going to make that happen? These thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay? This is the future of America, Babylon the Great, man. The mother, mother of all of all whoredoms, man. Okay? Um And I just want to you know bring that out. Um like I said Zechariah 14 and 12 because you know our job is to prophesy, man. Okay? That's our job, to tell the things to come. Before they happen, we're letting you know. We're giving warning. We're blowing that trumpet in Zion, man. We're giving fair warning to our people. Look, you don't get yourself right. You're going to be caught up in these plagues, man. You're going to get caught up in that ultimate plague, man. Your eyes, that's this. The scriptures say right here, and this shall be the plague where we're... Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth, man. They're going to be ultimately burnt up in that lake of fire. Okay. Matter of fact, let me see something real quick. Um... Salakia. Uh, check something out. Um, yeah, this is uh, just real quick, another quick scripture. This is uh, Revelation 15. I'm going to start at verse 1. This is Revelation 15 and 1. It says, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up with the wrath of Yahweh. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had got the, gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name. Stand on the sea of glass having the harps of Yahweh. Okay, and the point was in verse 2, that first line. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. That's talking about looking down from the chariots, man, at the destruction of this place, man. Okay? This is the vision. This is it right here. It's going, when that nuclear, that thermonuclear fire is spreading across the, the all these cities and states in the in the U.S., which is Babylon the Great, you know, we keep pushing that. When when the elect are looking down from the chariots, man, at the destruction, this is what they're gonna see, and it's gonna look as it's gonna look like what the scripture is saying. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, man. It's gonna be sparkling. This is going to be that lake of fire, man. Okay? And that's it. You know, I ain't going to go on and off. I just wanted to bring out a little quick hit. Okay? Um, so with that, as always, man, hold tight. We almost out of here. You can see the destruction is nigh. Okay? I mean, it's, destruction is knocking on the door, man. It's just... It's... it's, it's it's so much going on, man. It's, it's like a time. It's building to that time like there has never been, okay? So hold tight. Stay strong in the faith, man.
you know, and with that, I'm going to say all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS as some like to say, which are the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, man. Hey, don't be mad at them. Be, be mad at Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with those men, man. Okay? So you want to be mad, take it up with the Most High and His Son. Okay? And peace and blessings to the elect, man. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.